along with me to learn some of the language of the African people to talk about blackness and how beautiful it is. So in this celebration today, I want you all, when I say, I say the words and you say them back, jump right on in there with me. Go ahead and sing. If you want to clap your hands, clap them. If you want to dance, get up and wiggle. If you'd like, if you'd like, you can ask your teacher to put questions into the chat box. And during the course of the time before we leave today, we will have a chance to look at a few of those questions and answer them. Are you ready? This is my drum. It is a djembe drum. The djembe drum is the African instrument plays the rhythm. Some call it the original instrument. I play a rhythm that allows me to speak when I play. And I put words together just like what we're doing right now. I say the words, you say them back. Storytelling time. Storytelling time. Storytell, storytell, storytelling time. Everyone gather round, sit by your computer. Y'all lean back, just relax. It's time to hear some stories, some stories, some stories. It's time to hear some stories. Everyone gather round. It's storytelling time. Storytelling time. Storytelling time. Storytell, storytell, storytelling time. When we have a chance, we like to visit Africa <laughs> with the music, the rhythm of the drum, and some of the African story songs. I'd like to teach you one right now called Shay Shay Kool Aid. Are you ready? I'll say the words, you say them back. Shay Shay Kool Aid, Shay Kofisa, Kofisa Langa, Langa to Langa. Oops, I in day. Oops, I in day. Shay Shay Kool Aid. land is just so full of stories and most of our stories they feature our superhero Anansi. Anansi the spider. Anansi is such a wonderful wonderful character. He is he is smart, he is witty, he is quick-witted but sometimes Anansi sometimes he gets himself in a little bit of trouble <laughs> But sometimes Anansi helps the people. See, Anansi is part man and part spider. Yeah, he has a head like a spider. Eight arms, eight legs, and the body of a man. Anansi, Anansi is an, an old man, just like Mr. Olga. He is like a grandpapa. And Anansi, sometimes he takes his time and he sits beside the tree and has himself a rest. Me, 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 me. One day, Anansi was having a rest, sitting beside a great big tree. And all of a sudden, he heard a sound.
The children were coming. They were coming from everywhere. They were coming from up and down and all around, from far and wide. The children were coming to Anansi because they wanted to hear stories. Anansi, Anansi, Baba Anansi, please tell us a story. Huh? Anansi look around, he say, huh? Baba Anansi, Baba Anansi, please tell us a story. Anansi, he scratch his head. He look at the children. Where I get a story at? Hmm. You wait here. Anansi told the children to wait, and they waited for him, waiting patiently. And Anansi, he went to see the Sky King, you see. The Sky King has all the stories. Anansi went to see the Sky King and he told Sky King, Sky King, Sky King, I need stories. Sky King looked at Anansi, he said, Anansi, why I give you my stories? Huh? They're my stories. What are you going to do with my stories? Sky King? You give me stories, I tell the children. You tell the children? I tell the children. Ha. Ah. Okay, Anansi. You want the stories? You have to bring me three very, very special items. What do I have to bring you? I want you to bring me B. Can I hear your bee? Bee that stings like fire. Aha! Uh -huh. Please, you bring that to me. Also, Anansi, I want you to bring me boa constrictor. Oh, the boa constrictor is a massive snake. It is so big. When it wants to eat, it can eat a whole baby child. Yes, it could. Um, and then it goes into the belly, and the belly gets really big, and it got to do... And pretty soon, the baby child is gone. It's inside the snake, and the snake is like... Uh, and then it go to sleep. Me, 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 me. You bring me... Boa Constrictor. Anansi, look, he says, okay, okay. I bring you Be the Sting Like Fire. I bring you Boa Constrictor. But you say three things. What is the third thing? Ha. Ah, you have to bring me Tiger. Tiger with the terrible teeth. <laughs> Nancy a little bit worried about that one because Tiger with terrible teeth? Ooh, wait. Tiger with terrible teeth is no joke. I tell you this right now. No joke at all. You bring me Tiger with terrible teeth? I bring it. I bring it. Sky King, I bring you all things that you want. Anansi leaves the Sky King and he goes back down right to the earth. He knows right where he's going. Where Anansi lived, there is a great tree. And in that tree, there is a great, great nest, a hive. And inside the hive, bzzz, B. B is inside the hive. Anansi knows he has to get the bee and take it back to the Sky King. Anansi, he gets himself a gourd. And the gourd, it has a big wide bottom, a skinny little neck, and a small opening at the very, very top. And Anansi think, hmm, and he think, hmm, aha, he has a wonderful idea. Anansi goes very close to the tree of where the hive is, and he stands outside the hive, and he is having a conversation. Mm -hmm. He's talking, mm -hmm. like he's talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, oh no, oh no, they can't do it. 
because their hall is too small and they don't have a way to guide themselves. They don't have GPS. If, if I hold the gourd like this, you think they can get inside the hole? I don't think so. Yes, they can. No, they can. Yes, they can. No, they can. Yes, they can. No, they over and over, he's arguing with his friend, but his friend is no there. A Nazi is just making it like there's a friend. Pretty soon, all of the racket, it make a bee come out. And the queen bee, she come and she look. Hmm? Hey, oh Nancy, what you doing outside my hive? You are disturbing all of my bees. What are you arguing about? And, and... Who are you arguing with? Oh, Queen, Queen Bee, I have to tell you this. My friend, he said, I told him, go away. My friend, he said, you have no way to fly inside the little hole here. You can't do it because you cannot really see. I said, yes, they can. And we went back and forth and back and forth. we having a big argument, so why don't you help me win the argument, okay, Queen Bee? I want to see. See if some of your bees can fly inside the little tiny hole. And the queen says, oh, yes, we can. And she said, and all the bees, they come. And zip, right into the gourd. Anansi, he takes a little top and closes the gourd. He has all the bees inside the gourd. He takes the bees. He put them in the great big bag. He set the bag beside the tree. And now he goes to look for boa constrictor. Oh, the boa constrictor is the longest, largest, biggest, meanest snake in the entire world. Anansi, he goes over there close close to where the boa constrictor always comes out of his hole and goes around to look for something to eat. It is then that Anansi has a great idea. Anansi gets a very long stick, longer than long, longer than the longest thing you've ever seen before in your entire life. <sighs> he lays the stick down on the ground. Anansi sits down, and while he is sitting, he begins to pretend as though he is crying. <laughs> Boa Constrictor, he look at Anansi, Anansi, why are you crying? What is the matter with you? <sniffs> and Nazi said, <clears throat> Boa Constrictor, I'm having a terrible fight with my wife. <laughs> I'm having a fight with her because she tells me you are not as long as this big stick. I say, yes, Boa Constrictor is as long as this big stick. Boa Constrictor is longer. She says, no, you're not. I say, yes, he is. She say, no, you're not. I say, yes, he is. He, no, you're not. Yes, he is. I leave the house and now I'm sad. <laughs> Don't cry, Nancy. What do you need me to do? Dry your tears. I will help you. I, your friend. Oh, now she said, oh, I don't know. I just, I have the stick right here. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe if you lay down by the stick, I can take a measurement of you. Boa Constrictor, the long, big snake says, that's a good idea. Okay. <gasps> Boa Constrictor, he lay down by the stick. Anansi say, stretch further. The stick is so long. And, and, and the snake is so long. And he stretched further. Ah, he more. He stretched further. Ah, more. 
more and he stretched further. And pretty soon, Bo Constrictor, he stretched so far until his eyes stay closed. When the boa constrictor has his eyes completely closed, that is the time that old Nazi says, yes, thank you, I've got you. He wraps a web around the boa constrictor at his head. He wraps the web around the boa constrictor at his belly. He wraps the boa constrictor around his bottom and he takes the stick over to see the big bag. He puts him inside the big bag. When he puts him inside the big bag, then he sets the bag beside the tree and thinks to himself, I will take it to the Sky King, yay? Yay. Now, onansi has been working very hard. He already has a bees that sting like fire, yes? Bzzz. Oh, they're still there. Oh, now he has, huh, boa constrictor. Ha, he has it there. Bzzz. Now, hmm, Anansi must get the tiger with the terrible, terrible teeth. He knows this is going to be a very dangerous job. Ha, ha, ha. He gets himself ready. He thinks about it. Tiger with terrible teeth lives inside of a den. And he goes over to the tiger's den. And Nazi, he's there at the tiger's den. And he gets a good idea. Ha, ha, ha. He thinks to himself it's going to be such a good idea. And Nancy, Anansi, he gets a needle. He gets a needle from the long blades of grass. He gets a needle and he takes his web. He puts the web into the needle. Then he takes the needle and he sews his eye shut. Zip, zap, zip, zap, zip, zap, zap. Huh. Anansi's eye is completely closed. Is closed because he sewed it shut. And there he is with his eyes sewed shut. And he's sitting beside the den of the tiger with the terrible teeth. <laughs> and Nancy then begins to say, Oh, my, 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 my. Such a beautiful sight. Oh, my, 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 my. Such a lovely thing. My, 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 my. Anansi begins to sing. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I have a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I have a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Everything's going my way. Everything's going my Tiger with the terrible teeth, he comes out of his bin. He says, hey, hey, Anansi. Anansi, what are you doing? You're making so much racket right outside of my home. Why are you doing this? Anansi says, Oh, 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 hello, Tiger. Tiger, if you only knew, the most beautiful thing you could ever see is happening right here. It's happening to me. Oh, you should see it. It's beautiful sunrise, beautiful sky. The horizon is glowing. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Nancy, Nancy, no more singing. I want to see what you see. Oh, I don't think you can see what I see. No, I want to see what you see. I don't think you can see what I see. You have to just see what I see. I don't think you can see what I see. I know, Nancy. So my eyes shut. Huh? Come, please, come. So my eyes shut so I can see what you see. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> he laughed a little bit to himself. <laughs> He gets the needle with the web. He sends the web through the needle. And he comes, come, tiger, tiger, come here. Hold your head still. And Anansi takes the tiger with the terrible teeth. And he holds his head ah, in his arm. Then he takes the needle with the web for the thread. And he begins to sew. 
He begins to sew Tiger with the terrible teeth. He sews his eyes shut. Zip, zap, zoop, zap, 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 zoop, zap, zip, zap. Tiger with terrible teeth. His eyes are completely closed. He sewed them shut. The tiger with terrible teeth. He's... Ananti? 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 Ananti, I don't see nothing! Ananti say, Tiger with terrible teeth, what you have to do is sing the song. Sing the song. Yeah, sing the song and you will see the beauty. And Tiger with terrible teeth, he tries to sing. <coughs> Oh, a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I have a beautiful feeling. Everything going my way. <coughs> Everything going my way. La, 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 la. Everything going my way. And the tiger with terrible teeth is a scene of the Nancy. I see nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, Tiger with terrible teeth. I don't know why it's not working for you. Here, come, come, go with me. I take you over here. You Maybe you can see better. Anansi takes Tiger with terrible teeth with his eyes completely closed, and he takes him over to the great big bag, and he puts him in. Whoop! Now, inside the bag. <laughs> Anansi puts it on his shoulder. Anansi begins to walk away. He takes. Tiger with the terrible teeth. Also, the bee bzzz, that sting like fire. And he also has inside this bag boa constrictor. And he carries it all up to see who? Sky King. Sky King! Sky King! It is I, Anansi. I have bee that stings like fire. Bzzz. Boa constrictor. Tiger with the terrible teeth. I bring it all for you just like you ask. Now, give me story, okay? The Sky King, he looks at the Nancy. He sees Tiger with terrible teeth. He sees Boa Constrictor. He sees bees that sting like fire. He say, Nancy, you've done everything that I ask. You brought these things to me, and now I give to you. And the Sky King, he reaches over and gets a great, big, humongous, gigantic chest. A big old chest with a lid on it and a lock on the lid. He brings it over. He takes off the lock. He opens it up. He says, Anansi, here. Here are all the stories in the entire universe. <gasps> Anansi says, for me, yes. The king says, yes, for you. Anansi takes the great big chest and he throws it on his back and he climbs down to the tree where he told the children to wait. And what do you think the children are doing? They're waiting patiently. Some of them wait like this. Hmm. Some of them wait like this. Hmm. Some of them wait like this. Hmm. And here comes the Nazi with the great big chest. And he comes with the chest and he says, children, children, here are all the stories in the universe. You want story? And Nancy opens the chest and the stories begin to fly out. Have the story, have a story. And the children, they began to catch the story. 
Stories are flying, flying in the air. And the children, they catch the story, and they catch the story, they catch the story, they catch the story. All of the children, they catch the story. Stories they like, and stories they love, and stories they read, and stories they share. Anansi says, children, now you have story. Huh? But it's not really your story. It is a Nazi tale. The only way that you can keep it is if you tell it. You must tell the stories to your friends, to your family, to your mom, your dad, your teacher. Tell it to the other students. When you tell the story, then you are a story teller. <laughs> yes, if I had a dog, his name be Blue, and he would say right now, <laughs> that story is through. Ah, Anansi. And how all stories are called Anansi Tales. Yay! Storytelling time! Who gon' sing with me? Storytelling time! Storytell, storytell, storytelling time! I just told a story! Hey, my friends. Storytelling is so much fun. I just have a ball when I get to tell stories. It makes me so happy to tell stories to children. While you're in school, it makes your imagination wander. And the reason, the reason I like to tell stories so much, because you see me tell stories and you learn how. The next thing you know, you're going to be reading a book somewhere and you'll remember the story that you read in the book, and then you'll tell it. Yes, that's how you tell a story. Then you can tell and be a storyteller and learn lessons. When we celebrate African American History Month, Black History Month, it's a celebration. All of the wonderful contributions made by African American people to help society and help the world be a better place. We celebrate in February. In February, because of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln's birthdays. It was Dr. Carter G. Woodson. I say the words, you say them back. Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Dr. Carter, Dr. Carter, Dr. Carter. Dr. Carter G. Woodson in 1926. He decided we should have this kind of celebration. So many things that have been helped to be created by the African and African American people. Did you know that we are the ones that happened to make uh, uh, the Albanac? The air conditioner, the refrigerator control truck so that we can get our vegetables from one part of the country to the other. Yes, African-American people. Dr. Daniel Hell Williams, he created a way that you could preserve blood. You know, and the heart surgeon. The idea of mathematics invented by the African people. So many things that we use today. The doorknob, the dustpan, the broom, the mop, the chair, the folding bed, the water hose. So many things that we use today. Oh my goodness grace, and George Washington Carver, he discovered so many ways that you can use the peanut. Not just peanut butter. You can use the peanut for everything. A and take the color from plants to make paint. 
African people were scientists, uh, uh, mathematicians, uh huh, uh huh, and they they were navigators uh, for the boats. Discovered the fact that the world seventy five percent water. You can travel around the entire world on the water. One of the songs that comes from our heritage, our culture. It says very simple these words. We come from the water, living in the water. Go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the water, living in the water. Go back to the water. Turn the world around, turn the world around. One of my dear friends was Jan Spivey Gilchrist. She wrote a wonderful book. It's called My America. How do we tell it? I say the words and you say them back. Are you ready? My America, my America, have you seen my country, seen my magic skies, seen my mighty waters, have you seen my land? Have you seen my country? Seen my wings abound? Have you seen my water creatures? Have you seen my beast and fowl? Have you seen my people? We come from everywhere. Have you seen my homeland? Have you seen my country? Have you seen my America? My America. It's my America. This beautiful country that we all live in and we call America the United States of America, from sea to shining sea, with the border of Canada in our north, with South America and the Gulf of Mexico there to our south, the Atlantic Ocean to our east, and Pacific Ocean to our west. This entire country is ours. We live here. It's our homeland. And some of us wonderful people who live in this beautiful land, we have a heritage and a culture from the second largest continent on the world, Africa, and the 54 countries in Africa where Algeria, the primary languages, one is English and we speak it all over the world. But also, our brothers and sisters who speak the Spanish language, oh, my friends, if you have friends inside your class and they speak in Espanol, oh, please, talk to them. Talk sometimes in Espanol. If you count the numbers, you count the numbers. Huh? Can you count the numbers in Espanol? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Can you count the numbers in Espanol? Yes, okay, I know this. Everybody speak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I know. What about in Espanol? Can you do it? Oh no! Dos! Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, 
siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Okay, okay. Now, I want to teach you one more language, okay? It's going to be a little bit hard, but when we're finished, the teachers are going to look it up on the Google, and then you'll say it again and again and again. By the end of the year, you'll know it. It'll say, ah, ha, ha. I can speak also in Kiswahili. Huh? Ah, Kiswahili, from the language of the people, the Swahili people. One of the most common languages in Africa, spoken more around the world than any other African language. Huh? Yeah. So if we're going to say hello in Kiswahili, the African language, we say Jumbo. 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 Yes, yes. When somebody is visiting, like your your classroom, this your village, huh? It is your village. And I am a visitor to your village. So you want me to feel happy. You want me to feel safe. You want me to be comfortable. So you say, Aquaba. Hmm? Aquaba. Aquaba. That means welcome. Welcome. Aquaba. Someone does something very, very nice for you. Oh, you know, they just say, oh, your hair is beautiful today. Ah, oh, I like your shirt. Ah, you can run so fast. Ah, you're such a smart student. Ah, did you do your homework? You did? Oh, I'm so happy. And then when they say they're happy and they give you a beautiful compliment, you say, Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. That means thank you. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Story tell, story, story telling time. Story tell, story tell, story telling time. I'm gonna tell a story. Are you ready? to hear a story let's tell a story this is a story that you can remember I really want you to remember this story I want you to remember this story so you can tell the story to your mommy when you go home I tell the story to your to your daddy when you go home to, to your grandma and to your grandpa uh -huh. to your brothers and your sisters and when you go home you say hey family and the family says yes I'm going to tell you a story. What? <laughs> Daddy's going to say, What you know about the story? He's like, I'm going to tell you a story, Daddy. Just sit down and listen. And you tell him, Once upon a time. Oh, there's going to be a story. You say, Once upon a time. That's how you start. Once upon a time, there was a mosquito. Mm -hmm. This is the story how mosquito hold up the sky. Mosquito? Yes, mosquito. Once upon a time, there was a mosquito. Mosquito was flying around. And while mosquito was flying around, she looked up in the sky. Mosquito said, uh-oh. Oh, I think the sky is going to fall today. I better do something. Mosquito went, Buzz. Mosquito landed on the ground, rolled over on her back, and put her little tiny mosquito feet up in the sky. I did it! Mosquito was lying on the ground with the little tiny mosquito feet up in the sky, and here comes the elephant. Who likes to do the elephant? Let me see an elephant. Thank you, elephants. Thank you, elephants. An elephant is walking around, and the elephant says, 
Hello, mosquito. Mosquito says, hello, elephant. Mosquito, what are you doing? Mosquito say, I'm holding up the sky. Elephant say, do you need help? Mosquito say, yes, I do. Elephant rolled over on the ground and put his elephant feet up in the sky. Together they are holding up the sky. Huh? Yeah. And now here comes the lion. The lion is like, Rawr! and the lion. Rawr! Lion sees mosquito and elephant. Lion says, hello, mosquito. Hello, elephant. What are you doing? We're holding up the sky. Do you need help? Yes, we do. Lion rolls over on the ground and puts his lion feet up in the sky. And then, here comes now. He's coming right down the way. Monkey. I need monkeys. Monkey sees a lion, monkey sees elephant, monkey sees mosquito, and monkey says, hey lion, hey mosquito, hey elephant, what are you doing? We're holding up the sky. Do you need help? Yes, we do. The monkey lays on the ground, he puts his feet up in the sky, and then here they come. All of them are coming, cow and dog, here comes cat, here comes, all the animals are coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And when they get there, they say, hey, hello, oh. hi mosquito, hi elephant, hi monkey, what are you guys doing? We're holding up the sky, do you need help? Yes, we do. And they all lay down, all of the animals, and they put their animal legs up in the sky, one after the other. Zebra, cow, dog, kitty cat, all of them, they put that, oh, even giraffe. <clears throat> and they hold up the sky. You see, my friends, each one of the animals they came, and each one of the animals, they did their part. When you go outside today, I want you to look. Please, just look and see. You think I'm telling a story? No, no, no. I'm telling you. Look up. What you're going to see? The sky. Do you know why it's still there? Because the animals were working together. When you work together, you can do anything. All of the animals, they work together. They don't even speak the same language. I mean, dog talks dog and cow talks cow. Lion talks lion and monkey talks monkey. They're so different. But we, we all talk language. So it should be very, very, very easy for us to work together. That's what we do. That's why we celebrate Black History Month. It helps us all work together. We can be proud of each other and remember the shiny legacy of all of the people. Oh, there's so many names. Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey, Dr. King and Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Phyllis Wheatley, Langston Hughes. Oh my goodness gracious. There are so many wonderful names in the history of African-American people. Oh, if we just had a month, maybe an entire school year, where that's all we did was learn the names and the stories of wonderful, great African, African-American people. Scientists, mathematicians. Oh, don't even talk about track stars, football stars, basketball stars, and all of them. Ah!
Oh my goodness! But the people who made the things that we use every day, the mop, the doorknob, the dustpan, the water hose, we are those people. And I love my people. Yay. Yay! I want to give one thing in the chat so that you guys can play the music after Mr. Over's gone so you can remember. We're going to play this one. There's one song. I won't play it now, but you all can play it after. L V M Y P P L dot com. That's our theme song, okay? And you can play that anytime. Just click it on your computer and the story of the words will come on the screen. And you guys sing, sing, sing. Somebody, somebody gotta sing like Mr. Ob, okay? Cause I'm the one that sings like this. I love my people, I love my people. You have to sing loud. Don't just sing when it's time to sing, don't sing. I love my people, I love my people. No. I love my people. I love my people. Like that, like that, like that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for celebrating African American Heritage Month. Thank you so very, very much for coming. Thank you for letting me speak to you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for having fun. Thank you for clapping your hands. Thank you for being the animals. Thank you. Thank you, elephants and monkeys and zebras and mosquitoes and tigers with a terrible teeth. Mr. King, I wish you were in our building to hear all the noise. You can go ahead and come off mute so he can hear all the love from our scholars. Just hear you. Let me hear you. Come off mute so he can hear you. <laughs> that school is rocking! <laughs> That's a celebration. Thank you. Everyone calm back down. It is time for us to go ahead on our next part of the day. Mr. King, thank you so much. I'm going to give my staff an opportunity to send you feedback, and I will forward that to you. Please, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Teachers, you can log off. I'm going to connect with Mr. King for a second. Thank you so much today, guys. Go ahead and proceed with your schedule. Take a moment. Thank Let me grab... Then. I'll grab some water and come right back. Give you a minute for them to log off, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. Ooh, what a fun time. Thank you, thank you so much. First of all, I love the song. I love my people. I'm already there with you. That's our little anthem. That's our little anthem. You know that's... We have a daily update that we send out every day. So I'm actually, I have the link up. I'm going to put it in a link so that we can send it home. Um, yes. With teachers and parents so that they can have access to it as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's my, okay, so one of my little dreams is, you know, as I travel around the schools in different parts of the country, it's a similar reaction by most of the educators saying, that's so positive and powerful. Can we add it to our morning song? 
you know, and they'll pay, they'll, they'll, they'll pledge of allegiance, they'll do the America song, then they'll do the um, uh, lift every voice and sing, and send, send them back to class or start the day with, I love my people. And I say those four little words, it just sets up that positive energy for one another, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, like, I want to go, I want to go help all my coworkers now so they can know that I love them. <laughs> like, <that's awesome. laughs> Thank you so much. So Thank I want to make sure you guys are all okay. Mm -hmm. So even what you're doing is not only inspiring kids, it's actually inspiring us as educators. We're all super excited. <laughs> um, we appreciate you coming today. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait until we get to visit again. When we when we get to travel around and, and be in the space. When we can yes. be in this, it's going to be so ridiculously awesome. Because they're, they're yeah. what, mostly fourth grade? They so we have K through we have K through four. K through so four. So it's like our, our babies are really small, and it looks like they should be home. <laughs> they're really big, and we're like, you should be at middle school, but they're actually at the right age. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, I can I'm just imagine doing really assembly fun. because I can see, I can feel, I can see their energy in the little screen. I, I can yeah. see they're engaged. The yeah. call and response, anyway. call and response works. It, it, yeah, and, so I, I went around the school, which is why sometimes my screen went black because I wanted to go around the school. I took so many pictures of oh. the kids just... Yes, I'll send them your way. Yes. Sharing at the screen. I'll make sure that I, I I'm gonna have you I'm gonna add you today to our daily update email so yes, that you can get that email. We send it around three o'clock. So you'll be able to see the pictures and see what we say to talk about today. Oh my goodness gracious. What a wonderful, right, yes. wonderful one. See it this is a blessing. Okay, they're at the front door to do my uh computer. Uh and get me more power. Okay. Um so. but but everything's cool though, right? Yeah, yeah, so the, she's going to email you and let you know when it's on its way, like with an ETA of the, of the payment, okay? Thank you so much. So you call me or email me with any questions, okay? Yes, dear, yes, dear. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, where would they go to the library? Um, um, around the back, the gate is open. Blah, 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 blah. Um, the gate is open through the, um, please, it's a maze, sorry. I'm getting it together. I guess they put it over here by the Yes. Computer. Yes. They did they didn't put it in the wall. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh well, they just moved it right Yes, there. yes, yes. Oh. And I can move these guys. Yeah, I had a show. I saw you guys because the thing said, so what time? And I said, I'm going to tell these guys 9 o'clock. But I'm, no, 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 baby. That's fine. And uh, I, I said, play drums, so. so I'm sure That's they're going to come around 10. And so I had an 8 o'clock show because these guys are out in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. And so they're like, yeah, Mr. Oval, we need you to start at 7 o'clock in the morning. I said, 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, really? I said, 8 central, right? And I, no, 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 East. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Wow. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, I was, I was knee deep in, in about wow. mm, 230 children wow. on the computer. So, yeah, that's... Let me get my stuff. And yes. I'll splice that baby up. Yes. Go yes, yes, yes. And good. I just recorded the show from today. I'll do the editing and then it'll upload like lickety split. Thank you. Wonderful. Where are you? We'll be recording. Oh, I see you now. And let's stop the movie recording.